Hi guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Tati. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tati. Hey. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to, I'm going to short the skirt that I have. Okay, this is the skirt that I have. So there are many ways, but I'm just gonna show it to you today um, one way. And I'm not gonna be using my, um, I think it's overlock machine, overlock machine, because I don't have the color of the thread. Um, so, but we're gonna find out how I'm gonna be finish the edge. So on this particular skirt, okay. She want this lady wants four inch off the bottom. Okay, four inch off the bottom. I really like this ruler. Oh my god, really like I and I love this little piece because you can put it right there and then you can go all the way in the edge and you're not gonna miss it. You just you know you can mark it um specific inches, you know. So that's kind of cool. I like it. I really like it. It helps a lot. So anyway so let me show you okay all right so this is the skirt it does have an opening at the at the back but that is no big deal okay so this is how it looks like inside original okay that's how it looks like all right so the first step that i did was i mark the four inch that she wants at the edge so you want the edge right here so which me i cannot cut it right here because you need um to fold at least one inch or a quarter or whatever um to do the edge okay so but the thing is the first thing that i'm doing is i'm just gonna mark here the four inch i have this shark okay and i just gonna mark it okay this very handy i really love this i got it on joanne um but yeah and i'm just gonna mark it all the way around and then i'm gonna show you the next step okay so this is what i'm gonna be doing i flip the skirt inside out so right now this is the wrong side all right so this is the wrong side remember that i already mark on the right side the four inch right okay so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flip this that I can see the right side towards me, okay? And I'm just going to stop where I did the 4 inch mark just right there. I'm just going to fold it right there. So this method, uh, there are many methods, you know, but I think this is very handy for a beginner, like if you're not, not sure. Um, so I'm just gonna use this clip. I really love this clip. You can use, um, you know, the, I forgot what it's called, but anyway. Okay. So I'm just gonna fold it, the four inch mark that I did. Okay. Just right there. Okay. You can press with the iron while you're doing that all this around to make it easy for you. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna keep going. This is the four inch. I'm just gonna stop right there. Double check that match. Okay. And I'm just gonna I'm gonna press it to make it easy for me, so you don't have to go twice. Okay. So you press it, and then you press. You use the clipper, the clip. Okay. Okay. Right there. Let me use that iron a new iron this is my son my son um you know it, it fell in the floor my son was playing around so anyway but yeah so because this fabric is very um stretchy or whatever i'm just gonna use a right here so the the fabric don't move on me okay so i'm just gonna put it right there okay okay so if you are an expert 
uh, many people would do is like measure it the the one or two inch whatever you need to hold it to do the hem and just cut it right there I'm just going to do it this way because I can visualize um, every step I don't know I like it I like this step um, there you go four inch okay And then you keep going all the way around. You get double check. That's four inch right there. Okay. Perfect. Perfecto. <laughs> okay. So I just this is the end of it. Okay. You can see over here. So if you're a beginner, if you're not sure and you're like, you're overthinking. So because it's already fold at the size, the, the measurement that the person wants or you want. So what you're going to do here is you can try this on and then you can see if you like uh, where you, it's going to be. Right. In this case, it's four inch that I'm going to be shorted. Um, so like I said, you can try this on. Um, and then you can make adjustment like, oh no, I need a little bit more. So you have the time right here, right now to add a little bit more or to, um, to short it more if you want. So this is the ninth step, um, you know, before you screw it up. <laughs> That's a nice way to see it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the next step, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing is let me take this out of the way before I burn myself okay so I see um, I try to imitate the finish that is already here to put it here okay so I try to imitate that but in this case I'm gonna do something different I'm gonna use um, not the serger or um, the overlock I think the overlock I think it's overlock that I have okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure okay this is, I think this is 5A, 5A, okay. So I have this ruler, it give me all the details. I'm not good at math, so <laughs> my husband got me this ruler, so it give you more detail. So I'm measuring and it is 5A, 5A, so that's what is over here. All right, so it will be 5A, so and mark I'm gonna mark here the bottom 5a okay 5a 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 okay so the same measurement is here okay so that's 5a what's up They can hear you, mommy. Huh? They can hear you. <laughs> so this is 5A, okay. So 5A, I'm just gonna put it right here, okay? And I'm gonna mark it, okay? I'm just gonna mark it right there. And I'm gonna go all the way around again to mark 5A, okay? Okay, so I just mark 5A, okay? So I'm going to show you now the next step. <laughs> All right. So the next step, okay, as you can see over here. So I'm going to cut right where I did the mark of 5A. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do the cut. All right. Oh, <laughs> you're only going to cut this part. You're not going to cut both uh, layers. Okay. If you cut the both layer, you screwed up for real, for real, okay? So I'm just gonna cut this part, okay? The extra part. All right, just to let you know. 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna cut right where is that that where, where I did the, the line, just right there. Okay. If you want, you can open it. You can open it, and then you can use um, the the roll cutter, the roll cutter, to make it more easy for you. But I like to take my time because I don't want to do a mistake because this is not my skirt. So uh, I take my time, you know, I take my time. Okay, I'm gonna take this needle. You see, I'm just cutting the extra part, all right? Okay, make sure it's straight when you cut it. And you're gonna do all that all around all right so I'm done cutting okay and you can see over here I just cut all this extra so and while I was cutting it right in between the clips I just uh, pin it so because this fabric is very soft so I want to sew it very perfect. <laughs> so anyway, so let me take you to my sewing machine. Okay, so this is mine. Uh, this is Singer uh, Heavy Duty. I think it's 4452, I think. If not, I will um, comment below the right one. But this is the Heavy Duty Singer. So before I start sewing the bottom on the skirt, uh, I'm going to grab the fabric that I just cut okay and I'm I'm gonna do a couple stitches so just to make sure I like the length um, how it looks like um, it's like a test you do a test before you sew the actually item product fabric or whatever okay the garment there you go <laughs> there you go the garment so I'm just gonna fold it like I'm this is folded already. So, oh, the machine that I was talking about is the cover stitch, not the over, over something I was saying. So, I apologize for that. Okay, so I'm gonna do some tests here. Okay, uh, let's see. Oops. All right, so here uh, I can look. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I can look if I like the stitches, how it looks like. You can see right there. I'm just gonna use more the length, I want it more wider. Let's try again. See, that's why it's good to test the fabric. Um, okay. Oh, that's perfect. I like that one. There you go. You see? I like that one. More wider. And that's how it looks like on the back. So I feel comfortable now. This is for remember that every machine is different. So always always test before uh, you sew the actual garment. Okay. So right now the tension is four. I have right in the middle. The oh excuse me. The needle position is in the middle. You can adjust it if you want. Um, the width is zero because I'm not doing zigzag. The length is four and straight stitch. Okay. So that is my setting. Remember, um, your machine might have different setting. So always do a test first. Okay. So I very, I'm very comfortable right now. So I'm gonna start stitching. What I'm gonna do is because I don't have the cover stitch, the this kind of color thread. I don't have it. So I have black and I have white. I might use white. I can use white, but I don't want it visible to be notable. So what I'm going to do is 
um, I'm gonna use the single needle, but I'm gonna pass it twice, okay? And you know, so anyway, <laughs> I will show you, I will show you. So the first line that I'm gonna I'm gonna be doing, okay. So I'm gonna do the line near let me show it to you right here. There you go. That's how it looks like. This is the wrong side of the skirt. Okay, and I'm going to sew, okay, right here, okay, right here. Um, it's kind of like to seal so it doesn't open or whatever. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to stitch right here, not like that, right here on top, okay? So that's going to be my first line. Okay. All right. Always the back stitch, the first, you know, in the beginning and the end, always back stitch. Okay. So I just did the first line, and this is how it looks like from outside. Okay. And this is how it looks like inside. Okay, that's how it looks like in um, inside and outside. I'm gonna do another stitch a little bit away so that I can have the same look that I had before. This kind of look. Okay, this is the difference. I'm not gonna use the cover stitch. Okay, but. I'm gonna still make it the double line here. You can use the double needle. I really don't like how it looks like on the inside, so that's why I'm not using it for this project. So, but if you don't have the double needle, this is the way that you can do it. Um, okay. So the way uh, to make it like a perfect line. Okay. So let let me do a closer. So this is what I'm gonna do. Okay, this is the first line of stitch, right? So I'm gonna line this up. This is the pressure foot. I'm gonna line them up the left edge. I'm gonna line that up, and then I'm gonna have the needle right in me in the middle, so I can start my second line. So I only have to concentrate that the first line is going through the left side of the pressure foot okay so that will give me a perfect length i'm, I'm gonna show you <laughs> i don't know if i explain to myself all right let me see if i can explain to you better so right now i have the first line right at the left side of the pressure foot edge okay so i'm just gonna concentrate on that line go right on the left side of the pressure foot and then the needle position is going to be in the middle it's going to start stitching the second line that i want that will help me that will help me uh, to have the same length both line okay all right so i did sew a little bit and this is how it looks like you see so it have the same length okay i don't have to you know a zigzag or whatever so it's gonna look like like that perfect double line okay so hopefully you understand <laughs> you can go slow so you don't do no mistake if you want to go fast go fast <laughs> that's up to you okay i'm done here Oh my god, it looks so nice. All right. Da, 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 da. So this is how it looks like. The outside. This is the outside of the skirt. That's how it looks like. Okay. The same look as the one, you know, the, that I cut it. Okay. Okay. That's the outside. And then the inside... That's how it looks like. Okay. That's how it looks like. 
inside and um, outside of the skirt inside of the skirt that's how i short the skirt shorten um the size hole <laughs> my english too bad i'm sorry all right so i'm not gonna try it on because this is a client that i have this is for another person okay so that's how it looks like okay hopefully you try um let me know if the method that i use it was simple enough um so it came out very nice all right i just want to um show you that you can do it without using the cover stitch of the sur or the serger um only with this um, straight stitch you can make that nice look okay all right <laughs> they're still doing the fireworks um, but anyway, so it came out very nice. I'm very pleased. Okay, so let me know if you try um, If that was easy for you, so give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and see me next time